So let us solve a problem on type 2 PLL. Uh, so these are the uh, different parameters. Okay. So the IP it is given as uh, 200 microampere. 200 microampere. KVCO is 200 megahertz per volt, and CP is 18 uh, picoparad, and C2 is uh, 0 0.6 picoparad, and RP is 5 kilo ohms, and we have a divider uh, where n is equal to 4. So basically, my V out, out uh, the frequency of V out is four times higher than V. In, okay, so if we do the calculations of the um, poles and the zeros, right? We have one zero definitely at one by RP and CP. This is given by one point seven seven megahertz. You can just calculate it. Of course, omega P one and omega P two are at zero, and we can also find out the uh, third pole as discussed in the theory, which is given by this expression. 54.82 megahertz okay and uh, also uh, also i have uh, evaluated the uh, unity gain uh, frequency using matlab so the unity uh, gain frequency which i have uh, evaluated from matlab is 7.8 megahertz and we can estimate the phase margin as uh, as we have discussed in the theory right and it comes out to be uh, 6.69.1 okay yeah so now what we'll do is we'll try to write these equations in the MATLAB and uh, try to plot the border plot of the open loop transfer function as well as the closed loop transfer function and we'll also see the step response how much the PLL is time taking time to settle right and also we can see whether the PLL is stable or not so this is very much required to know whether the uh, PLL is working or not and eventually we'll simulate the same thing in the LD spice and try to match the two results so this is a simple MATLAB function that I have written uh, so basically uh, no, to see the transfer function as well as to calculate the you know uh, poles and zeros and finally plot the transfer function and see whether the system is stable or not and also how to see how much is the you know phase margin okay so uh, these are the different parameters and these parameters are the same as uh, whatever you know um, I have given in the problem okay so I have IP as 200 microamperes KVCO we have to convert into radians uh, per second per volt so we need to multiply with 2 pi and of course CP is 18 picoparad and, uh, and RP is 5 kilo ohms C, uh, C2 is 0.6 picoferit and n is equal to 4 okay so now as we uh, you can see here we can uh, find out the locations of the poles and zeros here so we have found out the location of the poles and zeros by writing this simple equation and this is my numerator and this is my denominator okay and I have used a, uh, a simple uh, control system transfer function you know equation so you need to have the control system toolbox to run this tf uh, function okay so this will basically give the transfer function is open right it's open in the sense that uh, when i have an open loop right so um, so this will uh, give the uh, transfer function of the open loop okay so yeah so uh, you can see here the numerator we can see here the numerator is as explained in the theory we have the IP into KVCO by 2 pi n into C2 okay 1 plus uh, so there will be uh, you know 1 uh, 0 here okay and uh, denominator we know that we have this is S cube okay this is S square okay so this is what we have seen in the theory as well okay <coughs> yeah and uh, by with this we can find out the phase margin with this function margin of the H open okay and uh, these are the uh, different uh, you know uh, settings for plotting the uh, border plot okay and uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, do the border plot of the uh, you know this transfer function okay uh, basically the H open and then after that I'm going to plot the step response of the A is closed okay yeah so let's run it okay so we can see this is the uh, border plot of the you know uh, the open loop uh, transfer function and we can see the phase margin in this case is as calculated it is uh, 69 okay 69.1 
of course there's a power of 10 so this is directly spitting out the you know uh, the phase margin as well as the omega u omega u is the frequency at which it is you know uh, crossing the uh, or it is getting a unit again and as we have seen before it is uh, 7.8 megahertz okay yeah so yes and of course here we can see the step response right uh, step response and it is attacking around you can say that around 0.7 you know uh, my uh, my cr uh, second to settle okay yeah so this is uh, you know how uh, we analyze the uh, whether the PLL is stable or not uh, using the MATLAB okay and of course we can also plot the uh, closed loop uh, you know uh, transfer function I have disability here but we can uh, plot the uh, closed loop transfer function okay so if I just plot the closed loop transfer function it looks something like this yeah so this is a I have a low pass response the closed loop transfer function is a low pass response this means that the uh, the whatever there is a noise that is there in the input frequency it's going to get filtered or the high frequency noise is going to get filtered whereas the low frequency noise it's going to uh, you know uh, go through the PLL what it means is that low frequency noise is that uh, it means that if there is a change in the frequency right low frequency means if there is a change in the frequency the PLL is going to track okay so and how much it can track is defined by the bandwidth okay uh, so this defines the bandwidth of the PLL okay so if it, if uh, the change in the frequency is quite higher it may not be able to uh, track that one okay yeah so this is what it means okay yeah so uh, this is the uh, meaning of the closed loop transfer function we'll discuss more about this one uh, maybe in one of the lecture uh, in uh, eventually okay yeah so okay so let's uh, using this parameter let's do the simulation in the LD spice and see uh, whether this step response is uh, matching or not we are going to use the same parameter as this one so this is my uh, LD spice model okay uh, so uh, I think we already had discussed uh, done the simulation but a little modification what I have done is I have added the switches to switch the frequency so there's a slight difference in the omega in so there's a basically what it means is that it's a step I'm going I'm giving a change in the frequency so there's a step in the V in or uh, so I saw that I can uh, see how much the V out is tracking okay so let's run this one and let's plot the V count okay so we can see here this is the uh, this is the control voltage okay so you can see here uh, it is starting at one microsecond and it is taking a time to settle maybe around um, I should set it after 0.4 okay so 0.5 right uh, and this point is also coming at around uh, you know uh, at around uh, 0.3 something like that okay and this response is I should say that quite similar but of course the values may not be the same because one is a transient analysis and this uh, this one is the approximated s domain analysis so the transient analysis is accurate but still we can predict the nature right you know the nature of the performance of the whole system and uh, you know whether it's going to ring or whether it's going to be unstable right so we can all predict uh, by using this simple you know uh, MATLAB uh, model okay of course uh, there, there will be small mismatch in the results uh, because uh, this is just uh, more like an approximate model but the more exact is the transient model which we are doing in the uh, uh, LTSPI so you can see here right uh, so here the PLL is perfectly locked okay and uh, here also it was locked and then of course this is step function step in the frequency so here is trying the two frequency is trying to adjust okay so uh, we can uh, you can even plot this one you can plot this in these two uh, nodes okay so uh, v in and this this node uh, vn001 so at this point you can see that this uh, right these two curves are if you see they are almost matched we are not able to see even the difference between v in and v uh, n001 okay 
so um, but whereas if we see the point where it had not settled right we can see that uh, we can see that there is a uh, difference into this these two frequencies right so it's uh, the <coughs> the vn001 is trying to track v in uh, and eventually it takes some time for locking okay so uh, i suggest that you can uh, go through this model so i'll be sharing this lt spice model as well as the code for the matlab this matlab model okay and what i suggest is uh, you know you try to run uh, the whole thing yourself and uh, do some experimentations right i suggest you uh, vary the different parameters and see yourself that how the pll is working and locking and how the you know the theory that we have learned is actually it's working okay so with this we'll end this lecture thank you